Hello everyone, my name is Miriam and I'm an artist from Denmark and I have the honor of sharing a tutorial with you this month of this goldfish. If you're interested in seeing more from me, I have a YouTube channel called Miriam Thompson Art Studio and I also have a Patreon with the same name. Anyways, enough of me talking, let's get started. I will just show you what colors we are going to use to paint this painting. The first one is Pyrrhul Scarlet. The next one is Sap Green. Then we have Naples Yellow. Then we have Pyrrhul Orange and Lemon Yellow. This color is a mix between the Sap Green and Paints Grey. And this one is a mix between Naples Yellow and Paints Grey. And I'm also using a little bit of gold on the fish as well. I begin the painting with masking out uh, the places where I want to keep the paper white. I just zoom in here so you can see where I'm putting the masking fluid. And I have first dipped my brush in some soap before I use the masking fluid or else my brush will be ruined. After the masking fluid is dry, I begin with painting the face of the fish, if you can call it that. <laughs> I wet the area I'm going to paint first and then I begin to dab in some Naples Yellow and also a mix between uh, Sap Green and Naples Yellow where uh, there's a bit of shadow on the lower uh, side of the fish and um, yeah I always wet here in the beginning the area I'm going to paint first because I want the colors to flow together and I don't want any hard edges and here you see me put in the scarlet red no Peru scarlet it's called I will just call it red for the rest of the video And I with another area of the fish and I dab in again some of the red color. Then I dab in a mix between the red and the green, the sub green, and this makes a darker red. Then I wet the area at the bottom of the fish, the fin, I think it's called, at the bottom of the fish. And I go in with some Naples yellow and also a, a mix between sap green and paints grey. Now I go to the body of the fish and I make sure to wet the whole area again before I begin to dab in color. I begin with a very watery mix of the Naples yellow. I don't mind that the, the red color flows into the Naples yellow a little bit, so I put in a drop of water there. Then I go in with a mix of, of uh, sap green and paint grey. It's mostly grey, this colour. And here again, I wet the area I'm going to paint with water first, and then I go in with a mix between sap green and paint grey. Then I paint the eye 
uh, with the straight paints gray and I thought it was a little bit too dark so I take some of the color off again and here I'm defining a bit around the eye of the fish and uh, I provided a sketch so you can see where I put the paint uh, on the sketch I follow the lines on the sketch and this is a darker mix of the sap green and the navels yellow and perhaps I have even put in some of the paint grey Now I have changed my brush to a size 2. The one I was using before was a size 6 brush. This is so I can make some fine lines and just define down on the, the fin of the fish. And the, I don't have to mind the areas that's going to be white because I have put some masking fluid on so that's very nice it gives you some freedom to uh, relax and you don't have to be as careful and I'm just defining around the eye of the fish and this is a mix between navels yellow and sap green And now I'm painting uh, wet and dry. And uh, to keep the edges from not being too harsh or hard, I usually go in with some water along the line just to soften it a bit. Here I go in and strengthen the color on the body of the fish. Um, and here at the fin, I go in with a darker mix. And I'm building the painting up uh, uh, with layers of paint. And I begin, of course, with the most uh, watered down colors. And then I put more and more color in and build the painting up. And just take it step by step. And make sure to take your time with it and don't have to rush anything. You get the best result if you just take it easy. And here you see me go in with a darker red and I have just put some paint grey in my red and make it, I made it a bit darker. Now I'm just using a damp brush to soften some edges and allow some of the paint to run out. Uh, at this point of the painting I was not sure how the background would be so I thought I would make the effect and allow some of the paint to go into the background. So and now I'm working on the, f the tail of the fish and uh, this is a sap green and labels yellow. Um, or perhaps it's sap green and paint grey. I think that's more likely uh, and a very watery mix and then I go in and make the mix a bit stronger um, the background will be green so that is sort of uh, creating uh, the color in the fish it, re it reflects this uh, color so that's why I have chosen 
uh, to paint the fish mostly uh, muted green. And I build up the tail of the fish with a daga mix. Um, yeah. And I'm still using my number two brush. It's very good to make some fine lines with. And here you can see the finished painting. That's just to guide you where you are going to put your colors. Now I go in with some lemon yellow to create some effect on the tail of the fish. And again I go in with a dark mix of sap green and paints grey and define some more. And now I thought I had too many hard edges so I go in with a damp brush and soften the edges a bit and also a paper towel. And this is my number six brush. And since this is a goldfish, I thought it's, there should be some gold. So that's why I, that was what I was putting in here at the lower part of the fish. And now I'm going to paint the background. I have wet the background first, so the colors will uh, flow together. And again, I don't want too many hard edges. I'm painting the background with sap green and a mix of sap green and paints gray. This is the very dark color. And when I'm satisfied with the colors of the background, I will go in with some salt to create an effect. And you can see that on the finished painting. And I will just put it in when, when the paint is... Um, paper should not be super wet, but not dry, because then it's not working. And yeah, I just go in with some salt and then the whole thing has to dry completely before you continue. And now everything is dry and I begin to work on the body of the fish again. And I begin with wetting the whole thing. And then I paint some stripes with a light gray color. Um, it's because it's the scales of the fish and then I go in with my brush and just very lightly paint the scales just to not one by one but just here and there just to suggest the scales. And now I wet the upper part of the fish where everything is wet and then I go in with a very strong mix of the red color. I really want this to be quite strong so don't be afraid to put in some color. And it's okay if it flows a little bit into the body of the fit of the fish. It only looks uh, natural. And you can see here on the photo uh, where the colors, the red colors are. 
and I just go in and enhance the red color where they are on the fish. I, if I think there's too much color, I just go in with a damp brush and take some of the color off again. Now I enhance some of the shadow that's on the fish, under the eye. And here I go in with a darker uh, mix of the Naples yellow. And now I go in with a, quite a dark red. And it's a mix between the red and the paint grey. And again I go in with some dark Naples yellow uh, under the eye of the fish. Now I wet the body again with clean water. Then I put in again a grey mix. Um, and I actually think I've made the grey of the Naples yellow and the paints grey. And here I go in with some orange. This is the Pirol orange, it's called quite a strong orange, and then again some lemon yellow. These colors will really light up the fish. And I just dab in some of the yellow, not too much, we don't want it to dominate, but just a little bit here and there. And I'm working on the eye again. <laughs> I've been back and forth many times with this eye. <laughs> but when you build uh, the painting up in layers, uh, you can, you have to do it like that. And here I go in with some bread and allow it to flow a little bit into the body. This is the water that's between the tail of the fish and the fin of the fish. And I go in and make some stripes again. And here I enhance the fin of the fish.
I think it's called a fin. And again, I try to avoid too many hard edges where I don't want them. So I go in with a damp brush sometimes and take off some of the paint and blend it together. This is a very light wash with uh, sap green and paint spray and also some sap green clean sap green but a very watery mix and here i attempt to go in and lift off some of the paint and make some white lines this is to enhance the scales and the, some lines there are on the fish and now it's time to remove the masking fluid i do this very lightly with my finger and um, careful not to tear the paper and now i just uh where i have where I have removed the masking fluid, the lines are very wide, so, and I think it's a bit too wide, so I go in with some very, very watery mixes of colors um, and just try to uh, tone it down a bit, this very wide. We still want the white, but we tone it down a little bit because it looks unnatural as it is now, so. And I will do this in different ways. I put in very, very light washes of color. And in some places I will also go in with a damp brush and blend uh, it a bit together. Uh, the hard, remove some of the hard edges. Uh, and I will just use my brush and rub it in some places. Um, like I'm doing here and again I go in with a very watery mix of the grey green that I have used on the tail of the fish and the fins And here, the last part of the painting, I'm just going in and defining some lines. This is a bit stronger mix of the green color I've used for the tail and the fins. And it's sap green and paint gray. And again, I go in with a damp brush and in some places just uh, work on the hard edges. And that's what I'm doing here as well. And I have found another brush that's not so pointy because that works better when you are going to blend things. And it's just a damp brush and I just go in and very careful blend where I think uh, there are some hard edges and also here I think the white was standing out too much so I go in and blend uh, some of the 
colors that surrounds the white i blend it a little bit in don't want to lose the white but just softened it a bit And here I'm just blending on the outer edge of the fish and also in different places of the fish. It, just take your time with it and look at your fish and see where it needs to, to be softened a bit. And here I attempt to try and make some thin white lines. Um, and I do this with a flat brush, but it doesn't work that well. Uh, sometimes the paper is uh, very good and you can do it. And sometimes the paper has just taken in the colors and you can't do anything. So I decided to go in with some white gouache instead and just make some definement with some or definition I think it's called <laughs> with some white gouache and in the tail of the fish and I just go in in different places just to uh, enhance some of the from the tail and some of the lines there are on the tail of the fish and the fins of the fish. And make sure not to overdo it because then the fish will look overworked and not so natural. But if you by accident put on too much gouache, you can just go in with a damp brush and lift it off again and now it's time to peel off the tape because the painting is finished i always use a hairdryer to do the job because i found out that uh, most of the time um, the masking tape then don't tear the paper and there you go the finished result a very pretty fish i think I think it worked really well with the salt as well. And don't forget to put in your name after you have finished the painting. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I sure enjoyed saving it for you. And um, hope to see you again in another video.